Jordan and that's Ryan. We are all siblings and student athletes. Being a student athlete takes dedication, time management, and proper nutrition. And now we're going to share with you how we milk it. So guys, I started gymnastics when I was six years old. I did recreational classes and then I started competing when I was seven years old. So I've been competing for six years and I've been actually doing gymnastics for seven years because I'm 13 now. So I, well this will be my sixth year of competitive gymnastics. I started golf when I was seven years old and I was actually inspired by my grandpa who's been playing way longer than me. Uh, I try to get out on the course with him, but I can't do it very often since he doesn't live around right here. So I'll usually uh, try to go out and play with my brother or some friends. When I started playing water polo, I was about nine years old, and I started playing in fourth grade. And my dad told me about a flyer that they sent out for water polo, so I went and tried it. It was really fun, and I liked it, and I stuck with it. I'm still playing until ninth grade. So to fuel up for practice, I normally eat in the car because I go straight from school to gymnastics. So I normally eat a protein bar and then some good chocolate milk gives me the protein I need for practice. So I fuel up for practice by eating some trail mix and uh, I love chocolate milk. It's a great pre-game drink and uh, the two together give me the energy I need to go through practice and have a healthy diet. I feel up for practice with a lot of different things. Usually I want to get some carbohydrates in for energy. And then really one of my go-to and my favorites is some cereal. You know, some milk along with it. It really helps me uh, play my best at practice. So I have gymnastics practice four days a week. I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. But recently I've been going on Thursdays in addition to get some extra hours in. So normally when I get there, we start off with a conditioning list. So we start with doing rope climbs and chin-ups, sit-ups, arch-ups, and then we go on to doing stretching and warming up, and then we go on to our events. So most of the days we do all four events. Some of the days we only do three, which is bars, beam, vault, and floor. During golf season, I usually have practice once a week and uh, tournaments uh, either once or twice on the weekends. I try to get out as much as I can to like the range, try to practice or hit some balls or practice my putts. That's how I go during the week. We practice five days a week, for two hours of practice. And uh, usually the regular average practice will look like, start with some swimming, some warm up, and then we'll do drills, and then some ball drills, followed by some passing, shooting, and then some counter-attack drills, you know, swimming back and down, back and forth down the pool, trying to score goals and play defense. So my goals for future and my golf career are, I probably want to make it onto the high school team and then eventually uh, go to a college uh, and then play there. And then uh, if I can, maybe even try to go pro, that would just be totally dream come true for me. My goals in gymnastics are to make it to college, so I would like to make it a scholarship to a D1 college and like it be successful in my gymnastics years. So I really want to be a successful level 9, then a successful 10, and then go to some college camps and be recognized by some of their coaches, and then eventually end up at their colleges. In water polo, I want to go as far as I can. Right now, I have my sights set on starting on a team in college. Um, I really like to play on the West Coast, specifically, but you know, um, I just love the game of waterfall and I want to take it as far as I can, maybe be a coach one day. Speaking of goals, we're working really hard to achieve ours and we hope you guys are too. Comment down below what goals you guys have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time. All right, bye guys. Bye guys, see you Thanks later. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.